Hey oh, guys, <laughs> we are back with another episode in a completely different setting. Yeah, this might actually be the only audio version of the podcast for a while. No, I feel like we should do, we should include the video. We put okay, this we much effort try. into setting it up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm a real stickler, you know, for, for, for quality when it comes to video, okay? So I literally tried everything to make he this really look did. as as perfect as possible he really and did. this is what you get okay but you know what i think that it gives it some character if it isn't obvious by now those who watch aisha haroon you should realize that we are in we're, we're in it we're yeah we're in a different environment we shouldn't say this is our apartment you know we're we are in a apartment okay what do you i mean it's not a secret i guess yeah it's not really a secret so <laughs> what are you hey hey you know there's some crazy people out there okay they don't know where she lives she could be in china for all we know well, they can kind of. I bet you there's like someone who will be like, "See that sign over there? How about if we just like Google it and then we can like cross reference the location of that sign to where she's staying?" There's and someone all that on TikTok stuff. that does that, right? Yeah, there are people who can do that. I'm telling you. That's that's your. You, you hey, be you'd be surprised. You'd be surprised what people will be doing out here. Okay. No, that's too much. <laughs> that's too much. That's like, why do you got to do all that? No, th- because people have time on their hands. Just like you have hours and hours to go on Netflix, there are people who have hours and hours who don't like Netflix but have w- who want to search for people. That's weird. Or 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 they have like channels dedicated to it. Oh shit! I'm really loud there. My bad. I just realized I was like clipping out the thing. Sorry for anyone who's listening for the first five minutes where I'm clipping out the mic. <laughs> Side of me are different levels, but we're using the same volume <laughs> rocker here. <laughs> no, but I feel like I'm doing okay with levels. I'm mm-hmm. like monitoring it. Okay, them. okay. You you have to monitor tape. For once, I'm not actually looking in the direction. I'm what? Well, your bottle is high key blocking it, but I can still see. We're oh, good. shoot. Let me move that real quick. Yeah. Ugh. Move the bottles out of the way, please. There Thank you go. You. That one, too. Thank yeah. you so much. Oh, by the way, we have Nabat here, too. <laughs> <laughs> if it wasn't already obvious. <laughs> Nabat. Uh huh. You're not using your, po- your phone no, in the I podcast, know, but, like, okay? People are coming, I just in case they. Uh, uh, uh. Sa, sa, sa. Okay. All right, guys. Can you guys tell me? Okay, I have some here. Mm-hmm. So tell me mm-hmm. if this is not a crazy coincidence. First, watch my volume because I might get a little excited. But like, okay, okay so mm-hmm. recently I got a library card. You know, <laughs> <laughs> having fun. <laughs> Yo, for real. <laughs> when you got a library card, right, shout out to those I was who watch legit. <laughs> I was legit gonna take a, uh, like a Instagram video of me getting the card and putting that as like the song in the background. Cause <laughs> <laughs> the song in the background. Wait, do you have to do photo ID for a library? No, no, it's not. For, there's no photo ID oh, for it. Fun. Yeah, I, I well like I don't think they've ever had photo IDs for library cards. Yeah, no, they, no, they never had. Oh, them. you know what I'm thinking of? What our high school passes? Because that yeah, also yeah, yeah, high school passes had them. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I got that. Yeah, I don't know. I was just motivated. I was like, you know, why am I spending all this money on books? Like when I just I don't have a bookshelf. I don't know where to put them afterwards. Yeah, I might as well just start like renting them out and use them up like that. So I got the library card, but then I realized that. Library cards are actually like so much more legit now because they give you access to like digital audiobooks oh. and like PDFs for free. Like you can keep them well, forever? Yeah. Uh, well, like or you like can rent them rented. out, but you can essentially just keep getting it if you want. But essentially, like any book you want that has an audiobook version, you can most likely get it on, uh, on your library card or Wait, with your library card. Do you prefer audiobooks over physical books? No, that's the thing. Like I still like physical books, mm. but you know, there are times where you just can't use a physical book like if i'm going on my walk but it's a cold day and it's like raining or snowing or something where this literally your book will literally like break down Mm. then you can't use it so audiobooks come in clutch there right so uh i recently chose to rent the uh will smith audiobook because you know how i bought the book right didn't you read that one already damn what's going on outside can you hear that in the yeah uh, i told you windows open that is so loud Oh, well, you know, it's, it's a bit the ambience, guys. <laughs> but um, what was I going to say? The yeah, so, so I got the Will Smith audiobook. I actually got the physical book when it first came out. And I went through, like, the first chapter. And then I don't know if this, a co- this was a coincidence, but, like, I stopped reading it a little bit after he did the slap. Mm. And I don't think I don't think I consciously made that choice, but I was like, you know, subconsciously, I was like, you know what? Let me give it some time. You know, really? I need to process what just happened. Okay, to one of my one of my one of my role models in my life. Okay, is that just <laughs> your Donald Trump impression? No, that's just me being like, what are they <laughs> facetious or something? Like I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like him for a sec. But wait, so did you start listening then? 
Yeah, so I got the audiobook version of it and I started mm-hmm. listening to it. And it's actually like a really good book. Does he narr- like does he Yeah, he does the whole oh. audio version. Yeah, that's the thing like audiobooks have leveled up since you last I've Probably never heard listened of to an audiobook. Yeah. Well, like either. now, like audiobooks, people will actually put in full in productions for them. They'll get different voice actors to do the voices and they'll like have like uh, they'll do uh, sound effects. Like there was a book I uh, audiobook I listened to one point. I can't remember what it was, but essentially they like it was a zombie related thing. Oh, and they actually had like people act as zombies and like they they had like the characters inside there. They're running away. They made they're running while they're running away. They made the sound effects of them like, you know, the footsteps and then the monsters like breaking through the house. It actually like puts you in it. Yeah, but I feel like part of the fun of reading a physical book is Mm -hmm. that you get to imagine those things yourself rather than having the the imagination done for you, if you know what I mean. Uh, Yeah, but uh, it's almost like... um, why do you like why do you like watching remakes of books in movie form like it's it's because you get to kind of like see you kind of you can kind of like um compare what you imagine versus but what you see times, a lot of times when when books are made into movies they're not always done justice a lot of things are missing or well this is like the perfect timing issue. but this is like the perfect mix of that because you're they're sticking true to the book because they're actually taking like the lines out of the book yeah and they're adding a whole production to it and you can still sort of imagine it because they're giving you the sound effects but you imagine the characters you can imagine like the people who are saying them um and also it saves you time because you're not actually you don't have to physically have a book you can listen to it on your walk or wherever you're going i'm gonna try that i've I've literally so it's about the convenience try it oh it's like listening to a podcast no no it isn't i just told you it's a whole production <laughs> no, i know that but i'm saying like a podcast you're listening to people talk audiobooks you're just listening to a story but like you can do it in the same format oh yeah yeah a yeah exactly mm-hmm. and um shoot the book i was thinking talking about actually is called world world war z you guys know that book you know the movie that was made on it right world war z yeah, yeah. I didn't the one with brad pitt I didn't no? no come on guys <laughs> <laughs> uh but like the book is very i think it was like very different from the actual movie like there are some similar parts mm-hmm. i think like they, they took a lot of like artistic uh um what do you call it artistic freedom when it came to actually making the movie mm. which they always do with movies except for yeah. i think like maybe harry potter harry potter might have been like the most um like they pure stay true to, the, to the, story? stay true to the story exactly mm. uh, yeah, or hunger I, games i don't know like i've read i think i read the fourth harry potter book and they definitely leave stuff out still. Uh, it's pretty, pretty much, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, guys, every volume. time, every time, every time the bat is quiet, I'm gonna call it out. And why am I still so loud? No, that's because we were both talking at the same oh, time. Oh, okay, yeah, I yeah, noticed yeah. that that happens. Um, but what was I saying? I was oh yeah, so to get back to audiobooks. <laughs> so I was talking about this crazy Easter. So I got the audiobook and I started listening to it, and at the same time, I used the the library card to get an actual physical book because mm-hmm. at the times i want a physical book i'll get one right so i go to this st- i i order the book and you have to wait for it you have to, it's a hold right so you have to wait for it to come that's how remember how library cards used mm-hmm. to library cards yeah, used to work yeah. like you can Don't hold you just it. go and pull a book off the shelf and well if you want to you can pull a book off if the it's shelf, there but yeah. if it's not then you have to wait for it to oh. come yeah so i ordered a, a book and so i go to the library i pick it up um and as i'm waiting for not waiting for it as i'm checking it out like the audiobook is playing in the background with will smith's voice right but i'm not really paying attention to what he's saying Mm -hmm. but then once i walk out i'm like okay let me get back to listening what he's talking about tell me why at the exact moment i walk out yeah guess what book i have he's talking about his favorite book called the alchemist I am walking out of the library with the alchemist. I ordered the alchemist <laughs> and he was talking about it at the exact moment I picked it up and took it out of the library. <laughs> and then he just started explaining the whole plot of the book. Right. <laughs> <in front> of <laughs> <me>. <laughs> <I'm literally laughs> and right when you started paying attention to, right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm literally holding the book in my hands. I'm like, when, when I say like, I look like a crazy person, I look like a crazy person. I'm like, <laughs> how is this happening? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> He's talking about the plot of the book that I literally just ordered <laughs> and took. And like, thankfully, he like left it to the, he was pretty vague. He mm. didn't give like too many details. Mm-hmm. He just, he just like, uh, he, he, he was uh, uh, subscribing, not subscribing, describing the hero's journey. And mm-hmm. that's like a book about the, hero, about the hero's journey, or like the classic hero's journey. And, but it was just, I was like, this is a half 
the 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 chances of that happening yeah. first off is yeah. like i sat in the car and i was like what the fuck? like i was so <laughs> that's actually really crazy though i was even to this day i'm like i, I don't know like wh- how does that happen like yeah. literally i'm halfway through a 14 hour audiobook and i pick it up at the exact moment yeah. that i get the exact book that he's talking about in there like i don't know that's how it shows you know it shows that god exists guys <laughs> <laughs> as dj Khaled would say god did god did <laughs> <laughs> yeah but i i don't know i just thought that was a crazy story no oh, my voice just oh cracked. damn damn. <laughs> damn you going through puberty or something <laughs> my bad i need to get some more water after this <laughs> do you guys remember bad baby hmm? the bad baby remember catch me outside the movie? Oh, the girl. Yeah. Oh, the girl. Yeah. Oh my god. It was god. a bad baby. Yeah, it was. Is that her name? Yeah. yeah. B h a d b a b i. Don't know. Yeah. B i b a b a b i e or whatever. Well, mm-hmm. Catch Me Outside. Girl. Yeah, the Catch Me Outside Girl <laughs> recently came out with a 1.7 million dollar fund to. Fu- I mean, um, what do they call it? Um, when you give kids money for school, what is that? Scholarship. Scholarship for kids who want to go into the trade. I think I saw that somewhere. Did you see that? It was it was like on Six Buzz or something. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But like it it just shows you. It's like, w- d- did you ever think you'd be in a world where you would see the Catch Me Outside girl <laughs> giving one point seven million dollars to fund? And and the thing about it is that people kind of forget about the trades, but honestly, the trades are the most practical field you can be in at this point mm. because it's always going to be essential. And you guys know what the trades are, right? Like yeah. electrician, carpenter, yeah, yeah. Uh, all that stuff. But yeah, so. And it makes sense because, like, you're almost guaranteed a job yeah. right out of trade school, right? Because mm-hmm. if you gave, like, a fund for, like, people going to art school, it's like, okay, like, you know, at least at least when they give it to the... Not, no offense to the people going to art school. But when you, <laughs> well, <laughs> when the art give kids money, go for you. <laughs> <laughs> but when you give money to, like, a tr- uh, people who are going to trade school, like, at least that's guaranteed to be putting more people into the workforce. But what do you guys yeah. think about that? The fact that, like... I think that's a really full circle... Full, full circle... Oh, my God, I can't speak. Full <laughs> circle moment. Mm-hmm considering where she started or how she started in the industry mm-hmm. she was literally on dr phil i think yeah. for like being a, a misbehaved child or something child. like that yeah and right? then she got like a whole recording um what do they call that recording uh, contract contract from it she got signed and now she's apparently she's on only fans that's how she's able to afford all this she's, she's on only, on fans? only yeah, fans? She's on, literally really just I to show you how that. creepy the internet is, literally the moment she turned 18, oh, she no. started an OnlyFans and made a million dollars on her first day. In wow. one day? In one day. That's why she's able to get $1.7 million. She literally showed her her like monthly report recently, and it was like 4 or $5 million or something like that. <gasps> a month? Yeah, because it's not, if you think about it, it's not only the subscribers. Like, There's also people who want like individual stuff, right? So people pay who like thousands of dollars for like, a feet pick or something or like for her to take a certain type of pick because i don't think she does she doesn't do it nude she does like uh suggestive stuff like you know like mm. lingerie and that kind of thing but still she's making millions of dollars i think she's one of the most paid she is she isn't the most paid it's isn't it david dobrik's like that person that he had i can't remember yeah um the bl- corinna yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I, I still remember the whole <laughs> 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 yeah but yeah, sh- you don't know Corinna. Uh, no, you Honestly, you were never part of that. You you have to you have to get with the times, okay? I'm surprised I'm how you have references so many people that I'm like I don't know who that is, and now I'm like, who is it you're into? <laughs> <laughs> that I need to research. Nabat didn't know who Mr. Beast was, guys. Like of all people, you didn't know Mr. Beast. I never watch YouTube. I've no, never but no, 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 guys, 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 no, on no, no, TikTok no, no. either. No, 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 that's the next level of ignorance. You don't even have to be on YouTube to know who Mr. Beast is. Why? No, you do, what? Though. You do though. Like, you do where else do would you, I though? see him? Yeah, because he. There was a period of time where his all every single video that he posted always went viral, and it was always on the like homepage of YouTube. But I thought like everyone in the world saw his um a hung not Squid Game video. But she didn't see the Squid Game video. Neither did I. You didn't see it either? No. It literally has like a billion views. What's the Squid Game video? He he literally recreated every single aspect of the Squid Game. Well, when that ends up on Netflix, then I will see it. Oh <laughs> it'll lo- it's a YouTube production. I know, but he's making it seem like everyone... I, I should know all of this. I never watch YouTube. <laughs> but like, I feel like... I. I don't maybe you know you know what I'm gonna accept the fact that it's just the world that I live in, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Amir, to be fair. Like yeah. 
I literally knew nothing about Marvel last year, remember? I guess so, yeah. Like, yeah. I knew nothing. Like, I can ask you, like, how much of the Netflix stuff I'm telling you, and you're like, I've never seen it. And I've never seen it. But like, I she finished, no, but she the thing finished is, Netflix. No, but the thing <laughs> is, the thing is that, like, I at least have some, like, context, or at least I know, I've heard of it. No, like I was telling you this documentary with Cecil Hotel. I'm like, oh, I've look, heard I've heard of the Cecil Hotel documentary, but I just never saw I never watched it. OK, so, yeah, but you're that's because you go on Netflix. I don't go. On I YouTube. rarely go on Netflix, even though I pay for it every month. I don't know why <laughs> <laughs> I literally I literally pay for other people's subscriptions. <laughs> you're a real Yo, I still use your Disney. <laughs> <laughs> so do I. Shout out to him here for his Disney account. <laughs> real one. Don't cancel that. No, one. no. At least I use. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, I hell really do need nah. to get water. Two times one episode. Here, you, you guys, mine, you guys, right talk there. about. It. I'm gonna get my water. Oh, perfect. <laughs> He's about to finish my water. It's okay. I wasn't gonna drink it anyway. <laughs> mm. You good? I think we're good. Okay. okay. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, oh shoot. Yeah, but this is you guys' uh, second time in LA. Who? Because we're in LA right now. Oh, no, oh, you've been here. I mean, second if time. you want to get technical. No, nah, I don't count that third trip. What third trip? Or not third trip. Technically, your second trip. The wedding for like a day? No, no. First of all, that was San Jose. Second oh, okay. of all, I technically have been here four times. How? I came when I was a kid. I came in 2014 and 2020 and then now. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But when you're a kid, you don't remember it that much? Yeah. Yeah, and like even when you came in 2014? I remember that. You remember that one? It's on the Instagram. How long ago? <laughs> yeah, we are ago. old, so it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> I was in like uni. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, shoot. That's bad. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what do you really? think about it? Yeah. I thought you were in high school. No, no, we were what? done high school in 2010. Graduated. I graduated at 11. <laughs> we don't got to expose that. Bleep that part <laughs> out. I don't want nobody to know when we graduate. <laughs> there, there are probably, there's at least, I wouldn't put it past someone, at least one person listening to this who wasn't, who was born after we graduated high school. <laughs> Oh my god, if you were born no, after have to be like 12. 2010, no, I don't think 12 year olds listen to this. Um, speaking of, yeah, yeah, I can speaking see Speaking of ages, this is the last episode I'm recording where I'm 29. Oh, yeah, isn't that wild? You guys? <laughs> it just hit me today. On Everyone the wish Sad a happy birthday in the comments because by <laughs> that, I'm about to enter posted. a new decade. <laughs> a new decade. <laughs> Are you ready? I think so. You think so? You know what just popped into my head? What? The, the Zoe 101 theme song. What? How does that go again? Are you ready? I found a way. You know, I found a way. That's Drake and Josh. Oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> no, she goes, are you ready? Ooh, I know you see me standing here. You nah, know what? Zoe nah. 101. You know what? We don't speak that girl's I name in here. That girl threw her sister under the bus. Oh, Zoe? Yeah. yeah oh, exactly. Jamie Lynn? Yeah. I feel, like, I feel like her family. Can we talk about Britney Spears? Yeah. yeah. I feel like her family kind of like made her crazy if that makes sense like yeah. i feel like she was okay she was she she was you know when someone's like on the verge of like cracking yeah well like she sort of she sort of did crack she d- but like they pushed it even further i feel no, i know it's controversial she, to say but like she first of all she's a child star yeah like she started um in the mickey mouse club yeah i used to be a huge britney spears fan okay mm-hmm. you guys remember my britney spears diary what oh yeah yeah I, re- I remember like vaguely the cover yeah mm-hmm. um so when she started with that and then she had her like rise to fame when she was like 16 or 18 mm-hmm. or whatever. And then it just kept going and going and going. And then she, like when she got married to um, Kevin Federline, had yeah. the kids and had the, had her divorce or got mm-hmm. her divorce. Sorry. It drove her to an insanity because that was the I mean, paparazzi was always pretty big in Hollywood. But like she was such a big star mm-hmm. that they wanted to get like any photo of her her mm-hmm. filling pumping up gas in her car yeah. could make a paparazzi person like a hundred thousand mm-hmm. dollars which is insane mm-hmm. and so i think that drove her to a level of insanity because she she always had the work ethic yeah but zero privacy yeah like zero privacy in all aspects of her life and then once she had her psychotic break i don't really know who made that decision that her dad like, I didn't watch that documentary about her well, like, conservatorship, but the, I wanted to. But the reason I say that they pushed her is because, like, if a family loved their child mm. and they got conservative conservator, conservatorship of her afterwards, yeah, the last thing I would do is put her back out there even more. But she made them money. Exactly. So, so they, that means they were... In, so that's why I'm saying that they were the reason she got even worse. Because yeah. at that point, if you have conservator conservatorship over her and you yeah. can control what her schedule is, yeah, why would you put her on like the Las Vegas um, lineup where she's 
performing oh, the, literally every single day like they worked her like a horse basically afterwards yeah she was producing album after al- album tour yeah after she tour. was being, but the thing the thing is she was being forced to do it at that point like it, it her parents had so much control over her, she she literally had no choice in that case it was it was her dad actually yeah but if, if, if it's her dad i feel like her her mom would be like no they're I'm why sure didn't she they're speak out then because she didn't have she any power can't. she can't even use your her phone Without permission. No, not Brittany, her mom. I'm talking about her family. Her mom doesn't have any power over her. Huh? No, Even I'm talking about speaking out to the public. Oh, because she could probably get sued for that. I'm uh, sure she made money if off If it's her of it child, too. do you care if you're going to get sued? <laughs> I'm sure she who's, made she, money Who's going to sue her? Her husband? Yeah, they're, they're not together. Yeah, and then who's, it's going to expose it even more. Oh, sorry. Um, am I getting loud there? I just What were I, you going to say, Nabat? My bad. No, I was yeah. saying she's probably making money out of it, too. The mom? Yeah. No, she's not. They were all making money off of it. They were all making money off of her. That's why I said we canceling Jamie because she was making money off of it too. That's I don't know about her sister, but her parents were no, definitely... No, her money, her sister was definitely making money off okay, of it. Okay, but like, have you guys seen Britney's Instagram now? I still don't but think that, she's okay. No, she, that's the thing. She's not okay. But like, first off, I I don't know. Is she First off, the no one should even talk about conservatorship because there are some people like, oh, she should have never gotten off of it. Look how she's acting now. But like, the answer should never be conservatorship. At least when you've seen what it's already done yeah at that point maybe it's like convincing her because now she has a husband no like convincing getting finding a way to convince her to like get some help if they feel like she needs it i don't know if she's getting help i don't know i'm not really sure i don't Mm -hmm. i don't don't follow her i i sometimes like check in like hey brit you doing okay (laughs) (laughs) and i watch her videos of her dancing and i'm just like Mm mm-hmm I don't know. I think it's just conservatorship. It's confusing to me, but it gets to a point where it's like, how are you controlling like when someone eats and when they can do every like aspect of their life? It's not mm-hmm. necessarily when they eat. It's like they control what she eats. They control um, like she can't drive. She couldn't drive her own car. She couldn't mm-hmm. use her own bank uh, card. Like she would have to. Yeah, but like I understand if it, like for sometimes with mental health reasons or whatever reason you, someone is put under conservatorship like if you're controlling their money or whatever okay like i get that part but like other just small things like they can control that too like well no it was in the contract in the, the in the conservatorship contract like the terms of like what her father had control over basically she was deemed like unfit to be a mother to her children she was deemed unfit to basically make any sort of decision for her career so her father mm-hmm. had control over that um unfit to make any financial decisions unfit to drive unfit to pretty much make her own decisions as her own adult because of her mental yeah so that means that everything she does had to be like scheduled in and yeah like she directed to live basically yeah yeah yeah, basically Mm -hmm. yeah i've been saying like what how does it get to that point though like why can someone not just be like oh let me go eat something but it has to be like, no, you can't eat this. You can't eat this. Like, how do you get to a point where you control every? Well, like, she was crazy. You break the person. I feel like they broke her to a point where at that point it's like you feel uh, helpless. Yeah. It's, it's the same thing. It's the same thing as putting someone in solitary confinement at jail. When you isolate someone, eventually they just break and they have no. They almost lose any will to. They submit for their to own, uh, whoever has yeah, power exactly. over them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's why that's why they've been trying to get rid of solitary confinement in jails for so long because it's literally torture. Like the fact that it's even legal to do that is crazy to this day. Cuz it's like the level that they take you to in solitary mm-hmm. confinement that you're in you're in a pitch black room. Not pitch black. Yeah, it is. Yeah, they sometimes put them in a pitch black. They like literally like throw you in black. a hole well, sometimes. Like, uh, some situation but they're not always pitch black are they they're not always but but even if like imagine you're, you're alone. in a room by yourself with nothing but four walls no no i know it'll drive you crazy like, <laughs> yeah i know mm-hmm. that but i'm just saying like the whole like because you have to go through a court system right so it's just crazy to me that it even got to a point where they had that much control over her like the court system should have you know controlled well, it better well th- that's the issue is like when you have when you have it, when it's your family, they think, oh, you know, it's your father and your mother. They they're going to want the best for you. They mm-hmm. have the best intentions for yeah. you. So they're going to be more uh, lenient when it comes to that. Did you watch the documentary, Amir? Uh, I, I no. did, but I don't remember. <laughs> I watched watch several documentaries. I, I, I watched, I watched like people's breakdowns of the doc, of the documentary, but I never actually oh, watched the doc. Or maybe I did ro- watch the documentary. I can't I remember right now. I watched a documentary, but I don't think I watched the one that's called I like. I feel like I watched two or, or three. Whatever it's called. Like 
or like homemade ones or like no no like the ones? actual documentaries they have multiple ones yeah yeah i, I didn't just know that. i honestly just don't remember <laughs> <laughs> mm. but um yeah it shows you how like even even your own family sometimes can be your own worst enemies 100 mm-hmm. percent. when there's money and fault listen i said it last time i was saying <laughs> biggie once said the more money we come across the, no he didn't say that who said that more money we come across the more the problems we see, see. <laughs> who said that though that was from uh his song mace more money more problems uh no is that mace it yeah was, it is mace. it was it was mace fe- featuring biggie i think i just I know, know. Sebri's listening to this like come on <laughs> Sarah, i taught you better than this was it mace or was it no it was is it, uh it is mace p diddy and biggie i think oh okay yeah yeah i think it's that because i remember his his he was like Dinner, dinner, PPA, you know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, oh my yeah. god. Anybody who's like a rap aficionado will <laughs> be I hating us right now. Yeah. <laughs> so bad with lyrics right now. It's okay, whatever. Mm-hmm. They know what we're talking about. Are you guys excited for Disneyland? I'm so excited. Did you guys ever go to Disneyland before? No. Again, I, g- I went when I came here when I was oh, a kid. <laughs> <laughs> and then I also went in twenty fourteen. So. But it's very different now. In what way? Like, uh, new like rides? they have new rides. <laughs> like they don't have the Tower of Terror anymore. They have like the what's Guardian the, of Galaxy one. What's the Tower of Terror? It was like the one where you, they, they it's like a drop. It's like a drop zone one. Uh, well, honestly, I don't remember the rides. I just remember going on them. I remember like small. You don't remember the rides, but you remember like I remember <laughs> going on rides, yeah. but I don't remember like the themes or the names or anything. Mm. Like I remember a small mm. world or something like that. Oh no, we ain't, nobody. Ain't nobody That's got the time only for the thing small I world remember. Now. Like. There was one in a mountain, I think. Yeah, Space Mountain. I yeah, I don't remember. Those I remember like, going. Those are like the classics. What? I remember a parade. There was well, a yeah, parade. they have a parade. I think. And I remember day, right? fireworks. That's what I remember. Fireworks? Oh yeah, at the end of the Fair- night, right? fireworks show was really amazing. But, but di- you're I talking like about fire. Disneyland, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think they have it every day. Hopefully, they do. I can't fireworks? remember. Fireworks? I don't yeah. think they do it every day. Do they not? No, because isn't hope so. it like in Anaheim? Yeah. Yeah, and I no, I think they do it every day cuz I I remember I heard that like they do the fireworks every day even though it's illegal to do it at that time. Oh yeah. But they just pay the fine every time. Didn't I, have I this told you this I, I told you remember. this like a few days ago. Yes. <laughs> yeah, was it yeah, you? Exactly. Yeah, she was telling us. I'm like, mm-hmm. we have this conversation. We didn't talk right? about it on here, right? No, we were just talking about it like in real life. Well, this yeah, is real life. I was telling oh, yeah. you. <laughs> off the podcast, off record. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, uh you know what? I'm going to take a quick break here, guys, and uh we'll be back in just and we're back. Oh my god. Ugh. Okay, guys. Mm-hmm. What else are you excited about? Huh? Well, what else you got for me? Huh? You know, you know what? what? So this is my second time in LA, mm-hmm. like officially, technically. Mm-hmm. So I'm just excited to one be off of work. Yeah. And two, this is our first time where all of us are here together. I know. Mm. Like this I'm actually so excited. This is our first trip, like together mm-hmm. with Amir. Because I'm usually left out, guys, you know, because I'm the only Excuse guy me. here. I'm just no, saying, no, 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 no. Okay. We're about to fight now because what? how many times have we traveled to the same exact place, but you either go right before me or right after Yeah, me? you actually what? are the when? one who okay, goes wait, 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 on wait, 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 vacations without telling us. When did this ever happen? What? To the LA? The only time we traveled together was when we went to Ethiopia, first of all. But like, when have I ever traveled somewhere where you guys were going to go there anyways? Excuse me? Well, why don't you tell us first? Calgary and stuff? What? No, we're fighting. But now. y'all weren't going there. Like, and that was a guy's trip. Okay, that was the same. But you never include us. It's not yeah. that we don't include you. We include you, but you literally were like, oh, I'm going to BC with Hassan and Faisal. And I was like, yeah, because like I'm I I I'm invited to the plans. I don't I don't I don't I don't invite invite other people. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to what are you trying to say? <laughs> trying to backtrack. <laughs> I know. No, but like when someone invites you on a trip, do you think you know what? I'm gonna invite like five other people. Yeah. No. What? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I gotta do that. <laughs> like, like if someone invites you, yeah. Like you're not gonna, you're gonna be like, hey, um, can I invite these other people? Until uh, if they say, okay, can you invite these other people? Sure. But like, I'm not gonna personally go out out of my way and be like, will you invite these other people? First off, because I like smaller groups. Sorry, guys. But like, you know. <laughs> not that shit again. Okay. Because now we're gonna be beefing. You already no, tried it. The no, first no. Time. You know what? I realized that like everything I've been saying has been true. Because I thought I was like better. But yesterday was really bad. What happened yesterday, yesterday was really bad. Really? What happened? <laughs> like my, Are you mocking him? No, like my no. my social battery <laughs> was trash yesterday. Yeah, I was like, I'm here, come. Like literally. He's we, like okay, so corner, yesterday like, we were at a wedding. Yesterday we were at a wedding. Yeah. And like 
I think it's because of the time change, but also because it started early. Because weddings usually start around like five, six o'clock, mm-hmm. but this one started at like two p.m. Because oh, it was wow. a nikah. It technically, it wasn't a wedding. They want to make that clear. It wasn't a wedding. It was a nikah. Okay. And <laughs> <laughs> so, so it started at like two p.m. Right. And, you know, I'm like, at that point, my social battery was full, right? Mm-hmm. For the most part. So I was, you know, I was getting, being talkative, you know, I was making friends with everybody, all that thing. But then, like, I could feel it physically draining. Like, mm-hmm. my body was like, okay, buddy, time's about up. And, like, I made it to, like, sundown, like, maybe five, six o'clock. And at that point, my body was done. He was like, he was like, you better sit down and not do anything. Your body or your mind? My mind. And so my body, s- no, and my body, mind, body, and soul was all done. After three hours? Yeah, I don't know what happened. Like literally, my knees, done, and like your and knees to the point to the point to the point where like we were praying we were praying Maghrib, and like I was physically going like 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 struggling to bend down. I almost needed a chair. You've done whole. No, day. it was also it was also really cold that day. But like, I feel it was like cold outside. Okay, so yeah. all these different factors. Like all these different factors mm. to the point where I think even Nabat has a video of it. I was sitting on a chair in the middle of the place, completely empty, just sitting on the chair and like hand ho- holding my head up and I, just falling asleep. Sarah, we are literally all dancing. And I'm like, I know Amir's not sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> I was done, man. Like, But why don't you like, instead of being like on go, go, go mode consistently for three I hours... Can't. Why don't you take little tiny breaks in between? I can't. I tried to, but like the thing is I'm very talkative when my social battery is full, but the yeah. moment it gets to like 20%, I become very closed off. Like like Yeah, but I'm saying like instead of draining your battery full fledged right away, yeah. Like take little tiny breaks. Like go to the bathroom and just like chill for 5 minutes. Um Re- and then refuel yourself. Like I do do that. Like I, I, the yeah. thing is you're telling like I've done these things. Like I thought mm. that by sitting down and like taking a break mm. I would be recharged. Yeah. But I think it was because of the time change as well like the time zone change. It was yeah. only 3 hours but I don't know like the combination of all those things the fact that it was freezing cold outside yeah. and I was yeah. wearing a dress shirt and like the moment I'd go outside I'd be shivering. Mm. All of those factors came together for me just not wanting to do anything. But I was saying that it has to do with like his also the fact that he's so introverted and it's not like his thing because he's using this time zone thing as an excuse (laughs) the day before we watched black panther and he was wide awake (laughs) and right after he was wide awake but yesterday it was like 6 p.m and he's like done so it's like like what feeds him and his energy is just not Mm -hmm. those social environment yeah, wedding like weddings are definitely you. weddings are definitely not my thing like even going to weddings i just have anxiety because i know knowing me i won't stop myself from talking my head off and like draining myself really quickly it's See, almost like it's almost like, like leaving your phone fo- yeah but uh, do you ever feel like a physical reaction like where your head starts to pound do you ever get uh, that when i start talking too much yeah Mm-hmm. what so what like w- what i've done like and i'm not an introvert by any means mm-hmm. i think i'm more of an extrovert so I, i'll continue even if my head hurts but if i genuinely feel like okay my social battery is on e mm-hmm. um what i'll just do is i'll literally sit there in silence and i'll just listen for once like i shut my mouth and i just but like people naturally i think i don't know it's my energy or something they just want to naturally talk to me and like yeah no same mm-hmm. uh, but i just like I'll just and it, I know sometimes some some people may see this as like being rude if you're on mm-hmm. your phone, but I'm literally just like I need to just take a moment and recharge myself. No, but, but I'm too hy- I'm hyper aware of mm-hmm. like how people perceive me and how people see me, so I'm constantly trying to be on guard and like I'm We're telling too you guys old for that though because if you constantly I, you are know, like oh people are gonna think I'm this people are gonna think I'm that then you're living for others you no it's not it's not what people it's here. not what people think it's just that I don't want anybody to get a go away it, you know actually funny enough Will Smith talks about this he <laughs> calls it he in his hit therapist called it uh, Mr. Fluffy where like mm. he just like he wants everybody to be happy yeah that's and like had come out with a positive experience and uh, funny enough like the way that he broke that or like a, you guys might not even agree what he did here but i don't know if this is spoilers for the book but in the book essentially his his um therapist was trying to teach him how to say no and like not be mr fluffy and like not try and make everyone happy so he was at Cannes film festival and he was like you know what i'm gonna go down to the gym just have like a 15 minute ab workout and 15 minute cardio and i'll be done and get out of there and he's like nobody will be at the gym hopefully i'll be by myself so i don't have to 
perform for anyone, right? And of course, sure enough, he's like halfway through his ab workout and a dude pulls up into the gym and he immediately recognizes Will Smith. Yeah. And without saying anything, he runs up to Will Smith, pulls, uh, not without saying anything, he pulls out his phone, starts recording already and goes up to him. He's like, Will Smith, I, I love you. And also my nephew loves you. Uh, he has Down syndrome and he, he just, he just he talks about you all the time. He just wants you to say hi to him. Or like, I want you to make a video and just say hi to him or whatever, right? And then immediately Will Smith like pushed down the camera. He's like, nah, man, you know, I'm, I'm in the middle of my workout. I just, you know, I'm trying to recharge you. I'm trying to um, just get my workout and get out of here. And the guy's like, no, 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 man, just, you know, just like uh, one more, like just a few minutes here. Just, you know, let me get him online, that kind of thing. It's like, nah, 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 no way, man. And then uh, eventually the guy just kept pushing. He's like, okay, man, nah, like this is done. I'm not going to do anything for you. And he's like, you got to go. So he, the guy's like, okay. And, he's like, and then the guy's like, what? Like, how could you do this? A guy like try, made him feel bad, right? And he literally couldn't even, he felt so like destroyed from it. Like he immediately started crying. Not Will wow. Smith, not the guy. Will Smith did. Yeah. And like went, he didn't finish his workout and went back to his room and like cried all night from that. Really? Yeah, because it was so against his character. Yeah, to say no. Yeah, to say no. And you would think like, okay, it's for a kid with Down syndrome, right? Like, but he's yeah. like, nah, like, I have to make this choice for myself. And like, it, of course, he hated the fact that this had to be the scenario where he found it. But he just knew that if he didn't say no here, like, he wouldn't be making any progress. So he went, he he said no and went back to his room, cried it out, but realized that he was making progress and like, I think so. I don't know. Maybe I have to say no to a guy with Down syndrome to get over I- it. <laughs> I mean, you know what though? <laughs> <I don't> know. <laughs> you know what it is though? Because yeah. I can relate to that. Saying no is very, very difficult for mm-hmm. me. And so the first couple times that I've said no, I was so reluctant. I was just like, no. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like I was so hesitant about it. Yeah. But then the more you do it, and you're not just saying no for the sake of saying no. Sometimes mm-hmm. you're saying no because you genuinely don't have capacity to do whatever it is you're being mm-hmm. asked to do. You know what I mean? The more you get comfortable saying it, the more empowering it is. Mm-hmm. Like the fact that I remember there was a time where I was like, oh, my God, I just said no. <laughs> and I feel good about it. Like, I feel good because yeah. I know I can't do it. Mm-hmm. I'm not promising. I'm not over promising yeah. um, something that I can't do, you know. Mm-hmm. So for you, I think you should try it. To say no? Yeah. I don't know, man. Do do Does, does my own personal you know, feelings really matter over the fact that, you know, someone else... Yeah, Might because you can't. A good experience. You can't po- listen. You know who's the no, queen I of know, saying no? No, I know. I know what I'm saying is wrong. But you like, know who's the queen of saying no? Well, never. <laughs> <laughs> She's literally <laughs> with no remorse. That's a lie. Don't say that. Never. <laughs> no remorse. Come okay, on, fine. Now. You have some remorse. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, can we talk about something that Nabat said no for? What? What? But I wish I said no for. What? So, um, a few weeks ago. Uh, I don't know why, but our friend Aba- Abbas. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> our friend Abbas okay. thought it'd be fun <laughs> to be like, "Hey guys, let's go to an escape room. It's an escape room, right? <laughs> of course, escape rooms. We've done we've done them multiple times. I was like, sure, you know, we'll do it, right? So I pull up, and Mans is like, "Yo, so see that one right there, the one with the screaming Japanese girl who looks like she came from the ring. <laughs> we doing that one." <laughs> 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 full well knowing this guy, full well knows. That I literally have a horrible phobia of like anything horror related. Okay, I want to say that I did warn him. So did I. I said, Amir will not do it. You have to ask first. And he said, no, we'll just surprise him. (laughs) 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 Did we ever tell you about our experience? A little bit. We have to talk about it. And also, I didn't say no. I actually wanted to go. I just was really sick. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, yeah, so, I mean, so what? I just want to know from your perspective before I speak on mm-hmm. it. How was that escape room experience? For you? Okay, no, let's get into it. Okay, so first off, so I get there, I get there one time. When he said it, I was like, you know what? I'm already here. You know what? I'll let you guys, if you guys want to do this escape room, I'll just be there. Okay, I won't, I won't involve myself with it. Like at that point, I was like, I'll be, I'll go into the room, but I won't involve myself with anything there. I'm here. You know that's not possible. <laughs> well, you know, let's, get, let's continue with the story, yeah, okay? Yeah. Self, let's the story. Self-reflection, let's just, 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 come on. <laughs> so, um, you know, Sarah pulls up, and we're already late, so we're already, like, rushing. And, like, 
the worst thing could happen. We we had to because Sarah and uh, the other guest uh, with her was uh, Sumeya. Le- Sumeya. We had to go in early by ourselves. So it was me, Abbas, and uh, someone else, Najat. And oh, we already like five people down from what we should have had. Yeah, we were supposed to be a big group. Yeah, we we're supposed to be. So think about this: you're in a haunted room, or like was supposed to be a haunted room with like a quarter of the side of the people that's supposed to be in there. So when you have more people, you feel more like safe, right? Yeah. So I was already on edge at that point. And then um, they have this like little mechanism in the place where it basically makes it sound like someone is in the room with you at all times. Well, you got to explain. So this room is uh, two stories. Oh, yeah. Two stories. <laughs> so there's there's stairs in the room. Okay. Yeah. And you don't see the stairs when you're like you're working on a puzzle. So there's a wall, but like there's a doorway. So Speaking you don't to the mic, the it's really quiet. In there. Oh, sorry. Okay, you don't see the stairs. Can I just say like, don't give too much detail because someone might want to actually do this. Nah, I don't know. This is going to be fine. Don't worry. It'll be fine. <laughs> right, uh, fine. We won't give away the puzzles. Like we can't give the yeah. answers to the puzzles. But, but uh, yeah, so <laughs> we start this. And like at this point, the... Um, uh, Najat and Abbas Abbas was sort of trying to figure it out and like Najat was trying to figure it out so I was like you know what in the room that we were in it seemed pretty tame so I was yeah. like let me try and do a little bit so I started like going on the wall thing working with them and then finally Nabat, I mean Asada and Tamea pull up so they get into the room and we start trying to figure this out and all you hear is someone running down the stairs in this two story place when I tell you <laughs> we, when I tell you we <laughs> teleported <laughs> We teleported <laughs> to the other corner of this room and turned into like a, we mel- molded into a single person. <laughs> we literally, wait, I don't even know. Like, like the I don't remember taking this step to, <laughs> to the other side of the room. I said teleport. I just, I just found myself on the other side, and yeah. the way we were all like joining, like <laughs> we, we were trying to like com- like compress ourselves into one person. <laughs> <laughs> and nobody wanted to be the outside body. Yeah. <laughs> so, 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 uh, you know, of course, me. I first figured out that it was it was not it was not an actual person, no, right? But we didn't realize that at first. It took like two a couple times. Yeah. Okay. No. no yeah. Because because like there there were two things. There were two sounds. So there's one that just sounded like someone knocking on the stairs. Yeah. And there's a second sound where it literally sounded like someone was barreling down the stairs yeah but like imagine because we're we're really trying to fi- solve the puzzles okay? yeah so we're like hyper fixated on this puzzle <laughs> mm-hmm. and as you're like f- trying to figure out this puzzle you're dum, 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 and mm-hmm. the way we're like yo f this puzzle <laughs> and tell me I why okay <laughs> tell me why as we're doing this puzzle why is it me <laughs> why is it me being the brave one to like start making the forward movements and like going further into the puzzle because mind you that the second the staircase that goes upstairs Mm -hmm. it leads to like a dark room you don't see what's on the other side they make it so that you have to turn a corner into a dark room where you don't see what's going on and like i was like you know we gotta like start figuring this out guys because after a point it was literally getting to a point where no one was figuring out anything because they didn't want to go and progress (laughs) into the next room no i was i was genuinely okay let me tell you why i was so scared i think had I not ever been to a scary um, escape room, I, I would have been fine. Mm-hmm. But the last time I went to a sc- <laughs> yeah, scary escape yeah. room, it was the three of us and some of our other friends. Yeah, I did not know what I was getting myself and into also that day. And also, we were kind of scarred because the first escape room we did that was a horror theme like that as well, had an NPC. It had a person, actually like an actor, playing inside oh, of it. What does NPC stand for again? Non-playable character. Oh, NPC. Yeah, NPC. So basically, they were just, some, we just they were someone who's messing with us, like an actual physical person. So we thought... Can we just talk about that for a sec? What? No, nah, that's a whole other story, though. But no, no, no. But like, I, I, ha- I have to bring it up because it's crucial to okay, why okay, I was go, so go, fearful. Go, go. Yeah. So this escape room, the first time we ever went... There was a group of like maybe eight or nine of it us. It was right? a lot of us, yeah. Yeah. And there was a big group of us. I think it was eight, yeah. Mm-hmm. And in the it, in the room, it was one level, but there was like um, what's it called when it's like a double sided mirror or whatever? What is that called? Oh uh, yeah, double sided mirror. Where you can see, but or like they can see you, but you can't see them. Yeah. yeah. But we we were able to see like the silhouette of a guy if you look really closely, okay? Mm-hmm. And this person was a real character, like mm-hmm. he's real, and he would call into the room. This room no longer exists, by the way. Oh yeah, they yeah, yeah. They shut it down. down. So the guy would call into the room and ask, because he can see us, he would ask for specific people, remember? Mm-hmm. And so... Oh, yeah, you were one of the people, right? Yeah, I yeah. was one of the people. And, like, they threaten you. 
and so like at first you're like uh, you're, you're laughing and stuff right because you're like whatever like <laughs> but no they like swear at you and they threaten you and so eventually like it's so crazy because mm-hmm. i feel like this is like a really good social experiment yeah i started to believe this shit i thought it was real <laughs> when he said i'm gonna kill you if you open your mouth i was like okay <laughs> I won't say anything. I was. I remember being like, Sarah, what is he saying? Yeah, I wouldn't tell him. I was like, no, I'm not trying to die. I was like, die. give me the phone. Mm-hmm. And so <laughs> I'm not going to get into the, the specifics of the, the actual game. Yeah. But like towards the end of it, we thought we won. Mm-hmm. Okay. And the police officer comes out and says, congratulations. No, wait, wait. You have, to, you have to explain the police officer though. Basically, it was a, um, a, a room where... Talk into the mic though. Basically, it was a room where um every clue was trying to tell us not to trust police officers yeah Yeah. we were not supposed to trust them but we weren't paying attention to that we just solved because we were too scared (laughs) no we would we just solved the mystery and we were like we literally the exit door opened for us and in the same second this police officer came into the room and he was like you guys made it i'm here to rescue you Wait, so were we supposed to go through that door yes and then we would have won Oh. Yeah. But in the same sense, that guy came in. He was a police officer, and he was like, "I'm here to rescue." You. And we were like, "Yeah, we did it!" <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> so we, we were thought, so excited. We thought we won, okay. <laughs> and so the police officer says, "I have a rescue vehicle. Let's get in the back of the van." We're like, "Okay." And this escape room, the room itself was um, crafted so like it was. It was the props were really well done. So we get into what feels like the back of a. Like it was a, a van. It was yeah. a van. And he shuts the door, pretends to lock it, and like there's speakers, so it sounds like he's starting the car. So we're like, <laughs> all right, cool, we won. We're literally standing in the the van, like I can't believe we finished this game, guys. <laughs> 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 like we actually did it. <laughs> and then you guys, okay, all of a sudden. <laughs> Did we hear gunshots or a chainsaw? No, no, no. We heard a chainsaw. He like opened the, the, the door. No, no, no. no, no. no. First, we the, heard a chainsaw. We heard a chainsaw and we heard the police officer get k- murdered. Okay? Mm-hmm. So we're like, hold on. <laughs> and then you hear, and then you hear like footsteps slowly getting around the truck, yeah. coming towards the end of the truck where we were. Let me tell you, <laughs> I swear to you guys, <laughs> I truly forgot we were in a game. <laughs> this was now real life to me. <laughs> okay? I'm not joking. <laughs> Wallahi, I forgot I was in the game. <laughs> All of a sudden, the, the van thingy, the door opens, and I hear the loudest chainsaw and the silhouette of a man. With because the, the lights are blaring <laughs> on us. So this man shows up with his chainsaw, and I was like, I am not a <laughs> Literally, I'm what we mentioned sure. earlier happened in there. <laughs> Everyone started pushing and shoving. Wait, I'm no. pretty sure you ended up on top of me. <laughs> I was on top of you. I was talking about like Inayat. I was yeah. on top of everyone, we bro. We were like just in no, the... No, you don't understand. I was screaming mm-hmm. bloody murder. Like, like truly screaming like we were about to die. Like, mm-hmm. I, I, in my heart, mm-hmm. felt like I was... This is my, this is my time. Mm-hmm. We, were scr- we were so scared and screaming so much. I'll even say, I'm not even... I don't even get scared in these things. Were you scared in that one? I was, like, in a corner, just <laughs> like, like, what is that? And then I can feel Amir's body on top I was, of me. I was in Tim's at the time, and I dug those Tim's into the ground so hard <laughs> to push back. I didn't care who was behind me. I, I was like, get this guy crying. away from me. <laughs> <laughs> no, <And> then, we, <laughs> the funniest part though, the funniest part was we were so, like, I'm telling you, I'm pretty sure we all forgot we were in a game at this mm-hmm. point, okay? Yeah. <laughs> the guy who was trying to scare us was laughing so hard. He like broke character. He broke character. Well, like, <laughs> bro- broke character. He's like, oh my God, guys, it's <laughs> just a game. It's just to get relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> and I had to like it took me a second to process like I had to stop screaming like what you mean it's just a game <laughs> this ain't real <laughs> my heart is beating so fast I bet you I bet you he remembers that to this day <laughs> and I would pay I would pay big money to yeah. watch that video I I wish they filmed that uh, no, oh I'm pretty sure they God. had camera footage no cam- I don't think no they they don't record it but they were watching us because when we left when she we, was like oh. the, even the girl at receptionist was like that was the funniest <laughs> <laughs> imagine watching <laughs> like that footage <laughs> oh, my oh i God. wish they recorded that oh. man so that traumatic experience scarred me for life yeah literally for life 
<laughs> to the so, point where we couldn't even do the puzzle because we were too scared to keep Amir, moving. The way my heart was beating in this in mm-hmm. this one, I couldn't do it. it. It was literally to the point where we were go like we were like halfway through the time. Do you remember we were trying to convince you, ourselves to go up the stairs? Yeah, like we were we were convi- <laughs> trying to convince ourselves for so long to go up the stairs <laughs> that the the worker came into the room and is like, guys. I really suggest you go upstairs. And then Amir was like, are there any NPCs in here? Are there? Are there? Is there a person upstairs? And And then like, and and no, and then he's like, well, and then he's like, oh, and then when he realized that I actually believed him, he's like, oh no, no, don't worry. There's no one here. (laughs) And he was like, I'm about to leave. So just confirm. Yeah. So, and then, and then of course I'm the guy who goes up there. So, so, so this is what happened. The guy tells us to go upstairs, right? Mm. So we start making our way upstairs as a group. And like, of course, I'm like. It was me, you, and a bus, right? Yeah, yeah. but a bus. Okay, so a bus is the one who 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 uh, booked it, right? Yeah. So I was like, if you booked it, you gotta go. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. That's so what he was saying. it was to the point where I was like, okay, a bus. You know what? The most I'll do is I'll walk up with you, <laughs> and I'll hold you, right? We, the three of us are holding on. Yeah, we were holding on to each other. <laughs> so so tell me why. So we get up to the top of the stairs. And there's like a little room next to it where they actually they, it acted like someone was banging on it, right? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it, it, the moment that activated, I think <laughs> Najat flew down the stairs. Literally, <laughs> she skipped like six steps. I was like, yo, are you okay? I'm surprised no broken ankle. The way we like, ran down. No, I almost did. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I actually almost did. And then after that, I was used to that because... I already went up the stairs earlier and the same thing happened. So mm. I knew it was going to happen, right? Because mm. it has like a certain sequence to it. Is that what you're like? It's just a machine. It's exactly. Because at that point, I would already, I've already been upstairs, you know, because I'm a G. But like, <laughs> so a bus. So the way it is that there's like a dark room or not the dark room. There's a room with a red light and it shows like a dead body in the room and like bathtub. Yeah. And we thought there was going to be something in there. Yeah. And directly next to that was a dark hallway yep. where you literally could see nothing. Like, it was pitch black. And I was like, okay, Abbas, you know what? I'm going to be behind you. I'm going to hold you, and we'll do it. And he's like, okay, we'll do it. Tell me why I, like, hold Abbas, and I'm, like, trying to walk. I'm like, Abbas, you're not moving. And I'm like, trying to move him. All, Abbas is a brick wall at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally trying to push him. <laughs> and he's, like, rigid. <laughs> you know they made me go first? I me. know. Well, we both went together. Yeah, we, but we, so, like, so at the, me though, I'm the big, I'm a yeah, bigger chicken. So, than you. so both of us, the G's, the G's of the group, you know, <laughs> we were like, okay, we'll do this together. Yeah. So I took the key from, I think, a bus at that time, or I took it from you, someone, and then we walked like slowly down the hallway, just anticipating something was gonna be there. Yeah. There's literally nothing. Yeah. <laughs> There's we nothing were, at the like end we of the hallway. We were scared for nothing. <laughs> and then I the just wish I was there because I would have done this like. No, 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 no. Trust me, your PTSD would have kicked in. Yeah. No, no, I would have done it easily. No, you, mm-hmm. w- Nabat, there's footsteps. You feel like someone's I in know, the but, room. like, I'm the person that I'm like, this is not <laughs> real. And, like, the only, re- I'm telling you, the only reason why the other one scared me is because there was a literal chainsaw in front of <laughs> yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I that was bad. You, I forgot sound, it was a game. Like, I thought we were going to die. <laughs> <laughs> like, the guy, like, that entire room, the initial one that we did, like, I wasn't scared at all. Like, even mm-hmm. with the knocking, I was like, just comes guys trying to scare Do us. Do you remember the phone? That's yeah. what gave me PTSD. There was a phone in this room. You already talked about the phone. Oh, the phone no, in the that room. Yeah, room. yeah, yeah. The, the one that we just did. Oh, yeah. And you thought there was going to be an actual voice or something. Yeah, so I was like, oh, I'm not this shit again. I'm not doing And then this. you realize the phone doesn't even pick up. Exactly. <laughs> but also, also, so we finally get up to the top of the stairs. Yeah. And at this point, when we were done with the hallway, I was, I was like, I'm not scared of anything. Because like, at this point, like, I knew the whole layout of the place. Mm. So I wasn't scared of anything. So we started like actually solving the puzzles, right? And then um, there was one point where <laughs> we had to like throw these cards into like a pl- plachinko. What do you call this thing? Plinko <laughs> machine where you like yeah. drop it and it like comes through. Yeah. And then when it actually activated, like it opened a little latch in the room and literally everyone jumped because it, it was just a latch opening. <laughs> but we were all so on edge. Everyone jumped into the corner of this room. You know what kills me though? What? I think you were upstairs at this point. And yeah. Abbas and Najat could not figure out the puzzle downstairs. Yeah. So Abbas called for help. Okay, he called. Oh, he did? He's like, can you guys come to the room? Yeah. So they, it took them like a minute. Yeah. But when they opened the door, Naja, the way that they ran, <laughs> <laughs> she's like, you called me. <laughs> you literally called me for help. Why I wasn't even there. <laughs> we were crying. I wasn't even there for that. I know you were upstairs, but like he called her. Yeah. So she's like, why are you scared? You called me. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, sorry, we're on edge. <laughs> it was to the point where like, at this point I wasn't scared, but we had to go like down a slide. Oh my and god! No one wanted to go down the slide because no, it wasn't just that. What it was like nobody wanted to go first, but nobody wanted to go last. So yeah, I was 
I had to go last. I was like, <laughs> someone's going to grab me. <laughs> and like, oh and, and the thing is, because you don't know where the slide goes, right? Mm. But it literally went to like a small room where it was, it was lit up and everything. It was, no, it was everything. Nothing was wrong with the room. Mm. But like, there was a little latch to like get into the other room and no one wanted to open it. But the side of this room was literally made for like two people. And there was four people in it. <laughs> we were so scared. <laughs> but at that point, I was like, you know, I'm done with this. I just opened it up and pushed it. And it literally went into the same room we were just in. Like the one downstairs. What about the, um, <clears throat> you know, the one we had to, we had to literally move part of the wall. And we were yeah, like, something's oh going to jump out at us. We, it took us like a good five minutes to even go in and try to figure we it out. Sol- Honestly, we could have solved, we could have solved, we could have solved this whole thing in like 10 minutes, in 20 yeah. minutes. Yeah. But we were just so scared for the first half that nothing made, like, we Literally, couldn't do anything. If I was there, I would have had. To nah, 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 nah. No, nah. but this room, trust me, it triggered our PTSD. Yeah, if you f- if you feed off of other people's fear like I do, then no. Nah. I don't though. No, but we I would have we g- teleported to the other side of the room when we heard the footsteps. Like, I get I would get startled, but then I'd be like, go, let me go, let me do it. No, that's what happened. Like eventually, we started getting startled. Yeah. But we would, but then at the end, the stairs got us one more time. Yeah. You remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, at one yeah. more time, we all ran into the corner, <laughs> and I was at that point, I was annoyed at myself. I was like, come on, bro, like you should <laughs> know at this point. I know. Um, it but just felt so real. Yeah, we got so close to solving it. She said like you had like one puzzle left. There was that one puzzle I was on literally for twenty minutes. Oh, this the music one. There was a music one because oh. literally it was using lights instead of actual buttons, which yeah. I, I told them like you guys should change that because, like, you have to figure out a sequence. But because you're doing lights, you kind of have to like cover it a certain way with your hands, and it yep. just didn't work half the time. Mm. So that was the most frustrating thing. I literally lost my fear because of how frustrating that puzzle was. <laughs> there was actually one of the code that we were missing, and you know where it was? Where? You know where the dead body was in the yeah. room with the red light? It wasn't there, but we were all too scared oh, to we're look. Oh, we were too scared to look inside? <laughs> <laughs> we didn't even want to look in that room because we're like, no, there's a dead body. I'm not looking. <laughs> I walked by it like this. <laughs> Oh, oh my God. man, escape rooms are just not it. Okay? Yeah, but you can't. know what? Like we've done other escape rooms that weren't like in the same level as this place. Yeah, and every time you guys are scared. Like Amir is usually doing most of the because I have PTSD. No, no, no. Yeah. You're you're scared regardless because I have PTSD. Every little thing that jumps, you're I, startled. I startle easily. Okay. <laughs> I startled like easily. He, like I, I remember the one we did. Like um, yeah, like the previous one, literally before. Yeah, that yeah, one. yeah. yeah. And we, you were like solving all of them. Yeah. And like I think me and Abbas were helping, and these girls are just like, "What's happening?" What's yeah. Happening? <laughs> and yeah. And no. we're like, when we tell you to run, they're like, "Oh my god, they mm-hmm. said run!" And I'm the guy with the phobia here. <laughs> 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 Come on, guys. Uh, but yeah, uh, you guys have anything else? Talk about? I can talk about politics, but I don't know if you guys want to mm. talk about that. Canadian I don't know politics. About politics. Uh, I haven't been. Okay. Let me. Okay. We'll make this quick. We'll make this quick. Okay. We're almost on time there, but like. Thing that annoys me, okay, recently Toronto had a um, mayoral uh, race, right? And election, you mean? Election, yeah. sorry. And the thing that frustrated me the most is that, like, we realize nowadays that, like, people are getting really getting messed up here. Like, we're not, nothing is working in our favor. We're, all, we're always complaining about, like, the transportation system, yep. the taxing, all that, all that stuff. Everything is going on in the city. Literally 29% of the people showed up. Oh, for the to voting, vote, right? to vote, yeah. Yeah, and yeah, everyone I, I talk to, even my my coworkers, everything, they're like, ah, oh, no, we don't have time Did for it. Like, of course I voted. Like, Did I feel like, no, I, you should. I, I, I forgot. <laughs> I genuinely <laughs> forgot. But that's the thing. It's like I didn't they even want know you. Who was running. They, the thing is that these people want you to forget because they know that the people who are gonna vote are usually people, older people, cons- who have who don't have any of your interest at heart, and, and but have all the time in the world. Like nothing that the government does now will affect them because they're so old that like literally they're set they're already set they're done are they old and wealthy it's usually older white people yeah but and the, and, and <coughs> people who are outside of the city or like on the on the edges because this was for more of a toronto race or kind of thing right but like it's, it's just annoying how things like this how we always a lot of people complain about things that the government is doing but then we never show our support because like the thing is that why would i ever want to work for you if you don't if you're not going to vote for me why would i work why would i work for the the youth vote or for the youth if the for the youth in general if the youth uh turnout is like 10 percent but the elderly workout it, uh, uh, turnout is like or the yeah the elder elderly turnout elder person turnout Senior? is like is like 90 percent who who are you most likely going to work more for? But Obviously do they do the it seniors. for them either? Though? Huh? Yeah, if they give them tax cuts, they give them all the things they want. They I know lobbying is a big issue even in mm. Canada. Mm. But I feel like if you if you get the 
if your base makes enough of a noise and goes out there and puts people other people in in place like eventually those people will start um talking about putting up putting out points that uh favor your communities or the groups that you're part of but you know what i've always felt this way i just feel like canadian politics is never it never gets as much hype as Mm -hmm. american politics does i feel like american politics is is usually pretty much like a joke Mm -hmm. um and with Canadian, like, maybe it's because we just don't pay attention to the news as much. Or I, I feel like it is advertised. Like, it is mm-hmm. on the news. Well, our, like, federal one does make news sometimes. I feel yeah. like the federal one is bigger because federal can affect, like, relationships with other countries, too, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I think in that case. But, like, when it's, like, municipal, like, everyone is, there's no parties, right? Like, usually when you're mm-hmm. voting provincially or federally, you're voting for a party. Yeah. But when it's municipal, you're just... There's you're voting like, for the individuals. It's like yeah. a bunch of names. Like, I don't know who's who. And then on top of that, you're not even voting just for mayor. You're yeah, doing, you're like, voting for, like, education. TDSB, trustee. And, like, yeah. mm-hmm. w- like to me, it's like, I don't even know anything about this. So. But it, we but should then, start putting in the work to, like... But is the onus really people? on us or is the onus on the individuals who are running to then educate? It's always on us. Like, it, it, you, can, you can try and put onus on them, but, like, it's only, like... At the end of the day, the, um, um, what do you call it again? They're okay. just going to talk to people who they think are going to put him in the in but, office. Okay, when you went to vote, how many names were down for mayor? For me, there's a lot. I think exactly, like six you're going right? to research every single person. Well, usually there? you can listen to the debates, right? The debates will at least they filter out the top. I didn't even know there was debates. People. I actually saw some clips. Like I, I intended to vote. Mm-hmm. Um, I just I genuinely forgot. That was it. Yeah, it, I had the paper ready to go. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess I guess the biggest. Uh, well, now America also had their uh, primary, not primaries. I think they call it the primaries. Premier? Ba- no, the no, primaries, primaries, where they oh, basically, ha- yeah, where they vote in like the Senate, uh, the people okay. in the Senate, and I think also in the in the House. I can't remember exactly. I don't understand. But essentially, they were expecting there to be a red wave, where like where a lot of conservatives were put into the Senate, and there would be like a displacement or like a. Um, the um, Republicans would have like the majority of the Senate, mm. but I believe that didn't happen because the polls were saying one thing. But what actually happened? Because remember recently, early in the year, there was the issue with the abortion rights, right? Yep, yep. And that, of course, heated up or like um, it um, got a lot of the youth involved in politics. At that point, they're like, "Oh shoot, this stuff is actually affecting us now," right? Right. And they saw, of course, the youth vote came out big time this year yeah and they um kept the democrats in power in power in a power to send like right now i think it's still like 50 50 oh okay. but at least they didn't lose as much as they thought they would yeah because the youth saw that there was something that they wanted their voice to be heard on and they and they made and they made their voice being heard heard by putting in the people that would be um fighting for their rights or the rights that they feel are important yeah um so now that the Democrats see that the youth are voting more in their favor, they might actually start putting out um, policies and like um, new laws that would favor the youth or like, like that the youth, appeal to them. that appeal to the youth. Right. Mm. Uh, at least that's ideally what might happen, because well, now they, that they're seeing that it's affecting, it's actually putting them or it's putting them ahead of the Republicans. They say that the youth are the future. Right. So it, it would yeah. make more sense to. Uh, have your campaign appeal to the youth mm-hmm. or or millennials if mm-hmm. you want to think about because they're they're now kind of taking over yeah in terms of the who's the mass generation right mm-hmm. um hopefully Canada follows suit because I mean that the where we fall into that category we're millennials well it was Gen Z that was mainly coming out too was like, it Gen Z yeah like Gen Z like eighteen nineteen year old look yeah. at Gen Z look at mm-hmm. y'all good on you but I feel like it, now that they see that the Gen Z and millennials i guess yes millennials too are getting more involved mm. you might see more policies that um would favor us more and and because we're the youth like you th- probably see things that relate more to like climate and more to having like um your individual rights uh and like maybe police reform things that like the you the, the youth have been very passionate about recently yeah i could see that mm-hmm. but it shows you that like uh i guess that will be a good litmus test to be see if like uh, if that base if they actually start focusing their policies towards that base that it, you're, that it shows that coming out actually does make a difference. Yeah, 
I, I and hopefully we can learn from that as Canadians and start coming out ourselves because I think the from vote, this from this past election. Yeah, like because it was twenty nine percent now, but hopefully if they see that change is happening in America, like a lot of these, even though it's not as bad or as it can get that bad, mm. and I can see it getting that bad if we don't start making our voice heard. I don't know, but no, I agree. You know, that's just something I want. I bring a little bit of politics on here <laughs> after that. You know, bring it down a bit. We were we were, were kind of going through like we went through a climax, and now I'm bringing it back down. You know, and it mellowing here, but, it out a little bit. Exactly. Do you guys have any uh, final thoughts? Um. Okay, guys. <laughs> 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 thank you again for listening to the uh 70th episode of the cousin connection podcast uh you remember if uh oh and thank you again for sukur in the bat for joining us today on the podcast <laughs> um if you'd like to uh check out a lot of other other podcasts you know we have a nice discog- discography you know about 69 episodes previous to this so you can listen to uh either a few of them on video you know mostly on audio too uh, <laughs> Are you, you guys know, know what to do don't forget to subscribe <laughs> like this video leave us a comment i've been seeing your comments you guys by the way and i really appreciate the honest feedback mm-hmm. um positive or negative we're open to it all so you know I, I don't know if you've been taking a look but we've been getting some interesting mm-hmm. comments so thank you guys so much it, it really means a lot to us to hear from you so we appreciate y'all we love y'all and uh we'll see y'all later bye, bye.